Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode five of the Stashland Yaps podcast. I'm joined today by a close friend of mine, a moderator of the Stashland stream, Fox, over here. And today, there's a very specific thing that I want to talk about because it's plagued my channel. I know it's plagued the channels of a number of other people on Twitch and on YouTube. And it's people selling art at exorbitant prices for no apparent reason. People will come into your chat and be like, hey, I make art for money. And I'm really low on rent this month. Can you help? Would you buy something? Or it's, hey, I make art. And would you like to do it? I do it for these kinds of things. And, you know, I see that you're a, you know, you're a streamer or YouTuber who needs it. And it's this is, it's the same two scripts every single time. Whether you have it in the rules of your chat or anything else, they just keep doing it. I don't get it. I don't get why they do it. I don't understand. I've had to ban so many people because of this. And it's really, really irritating. Fox, you have anything you want to say about this? Well, first of all, hello, audience. Um, I am Fox. I am a moderator here at the um, Stashland and Associates um, firm company. Why did you make this it. name so damn long? It's just Stash and so It's just Stashland and Associates. That's it. It's, oh, it's three it's words. When you look on the thing, on well, the stream it, it's the server name's longer for other reasons, unimportant reasons. That's just. For copyright reasons, okay. All right. Sure. But anyways, no. Um, I actually have a different view of it. Um, yes, it. I understand it can be annoying, but like, at the same time, like I like it because they're. I like promoting actual artists, especially in an age where AI art is so common. Okay, I can see. I can understand that. But there's also something... like hey, go on, sorry, finish your like sentence. I I myself I have I have commissioned several, uh, I have not several, a couple pieces, mm -hmm. um, and like I would do more. It's just that I don't have a job, therefore I cannot afford to do it. Right, and I understand that. To that end of commissioning art, I already know artists that I'd commission first anyway. Right, like. Generally, if you're going to commission art, like, you're not waiting for somebody to come to you, you're going to go to somebody. That's just how yeah. buying and selling works. Secondly, for the- I don't know how much you would know about this, but what they do is they do this, and then if you accept, they make the art, and they take a long time to do it intentionally. And they'll charge you in various ways, but they're always charging you, like, as exorbitantly high prices as possible, well above market price for whatever it is that they're doing intentionally, and then scamming you out of money for art that's generally pretty lackluster, or at least I would consider it to be. And it's the same thing every yeah. time. And also, some of them are just straight up bots too. And it's hard. It, I mean, uh, yeah. how do you know which ones are bots, which ones aren't? I don't know. Either way, there's it's still shady business dealings. I, no matter what way you cut it. Yes, agreed. Um, uh, as somebody who's in like a bunch of public servers, yes, there is a lot of bots on Discord advertising themselves. I've gotten it less on Discord than I have on Twitch, but it, it's also an epidemic on Discord, too. It's not just in stream chat. So I'm glad that you brought up that, too, because that's another thing. Like, it's it's way more widespread than you'd think. I don't, I don't know how many of our listeners here have had problems with this or not. It's, pro it's just as likely you have as likely you didn't. But it's constant for me. Like, I I don't know how many people I've banned because of it. Like, stop offering it. I, I don't understand why they... Like, these people just blatantly ignore the fact that to chat, in the chat, it says, don't try and don't sell art. That is against the rules. And then they still go and do it. I I mean, it's a bold strategy, Cotton, but it's not going to play out for you at all. It's, it's not going to go the way you think. Yeah, it's not going to fuck around and find out. And sometimes finding out is being banned. Sometimes finding out is... Uh, getting a Darwin Award for something stupid you did. 
you know, it's I don't get the persistence and it's it's an epidemic. It it quite is. It's something I I don't know how Twitchy would address it at all. But it's I mean it's just as bad as like the Nigerian prince scam. Although Oh this... god, that brought back memories. Well yeah, of course it did. It's been years since anyone's seen a legitimate one. Uh, that's not just someone making a joke on Twitter or something about it. But it's it's so widespread, it's absurd. I am genuinely I mean I'm genuinely impressed at their ability to keep biting the same bullet and keep doubling down. Like, brother, if I had doubled down that many times, the deed to my house would be gone, okay? Like, I'd be in debt, on the street, unable to eat food because I couldn't afford it if I kept doubling down like that. Is that an, is that an addiction problem? No, it's dedication. That's, a, that's the topic of a different episode. We can do an episode on that if you guys would like. That's a joke, by the way. If you have an actual problem, go get help. Did it. Dedication is crazy. If you do have an actual problem, go get help. And I know if you thought that joke was like legitimately, if you like legitimately agreeing with me, you have a problem. Go get help. If you thought, huh, that's Aww. funny, then yeah, you probably don't have a problem. But if you were like agreeing with me, like finally, finally, someone who, who understands, you have a problem. Go get help. Um, what else do I want to bring up? It's like legitimately, it's it's awful, and I don't know how. I, I have no idea how to fix it. I can only ban this bot so many times. Like you can, people these people can make infinite amounts of Discord accounts, right? Like I can't. I mean, I can ban bots for forever, but this is something that's awful. And I, Twitch has. I don't know how much if Twitch just hasn't caught on to it or what's going on with Twitch, but it, not that it's necessarily their job to fix it. I can't just put it all on them, but. I haven't seen anyone really talking about this in much of any light that this bait and scam tactic is just so, as widespread as it is. I have not seen most people talk about it, but I know a lot of people who it's happened to them, but people just don't say anything about it. And that's a dip. That's a, also a massive problem. That's that's a societal problem. It's like if it's just, you know, bystander effect and what all. Of like, if you're in a large group of people and the same thing's happening to all of you, you no one really tends to step up just because everyone's like, oh, somebody else will. That's just as, that's that's an entirely other problem, but it's, it's also incredibly dangerous for a lot of things. So, um, I lost my train of thought there. Uh, that's such a big thing to lose, Dashley. Shut up. How do you lose a train? I, I didn't know. say anything! I may I wasn't saying that to you. I was just making a joke in general at the expense of I don't know who exactly. But I can't believe you. You can't believe I make a joke? That's depressing. I can't believe you make a joke. How dare you? Sorry. How dare you make a joke on a comedy podcast? True. This is a bit of uh, this is not exactly just a comedy. This is like a social commentary comedy podcast, which is like quite possibly the most degenerate podcast you could come up with. Although it's not, it's not necessarily just social commentary. It's just commentary in general with a really low quality Stashland spin on it. Because you know who would have it any other way, right? Um. Yeah. Is there is, what, what else? Is there anything else you'd like to add? I I want to hear more from you. I want to hear more on your thoughts about this. So, me personally, like like I said, I support artists. Um. I think that um, in a world where everything is going to AI, I think supporting actual people is important. Absolutely. And however, I will not deny that the fact that they, the way that they're going about it is terrible. It makes them feel like they're AI, quite honestly. Like, I wouldn't, I would wait, I would venture to wager yes. that at oh. least half of them are just actual bots, oh. AI chatbots. Oh, Oh no, one hundred percent. Or if they're not just chatbots, they're scammers. Oh yeah, I mean the whole idea like, of it uh, is it, it, the whole idea is intentional scamming. That's the entire. I think that's like the entire business model. Quite honestly. Yeah. Um, I'm talking about like the people that like aren't. Because like some some of them like I've actually seen like um, they're not that bad. They're pretty decent. Okay. Yeah. But it's like um. 
What's the word I'm trying to think of? I have I'm, no idea. I'm very I sorry. Know. I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, okay. Um, what, what, what does the word mean? Maybe I can help you figure it out. No, it's... Maybe facetious? That's the word that was Hang coming on. to mind. I was in the middle of... I was... Oh, like, one of them, like, got advertised in one of the servers that I'm in, and then immediately got caught out for, um, stealing art. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like, it's, it's like that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. Anyways, but yes, I do, I do believe that, um, it's... I I think that another thing too is that like the actual people that are doing decent work are getting outweighed by the people that are actually scamming. Yeah, and I I just want I want to preface this because I don't know if this if maybe it was maybe I mean me I think maybe you s if I could speak that'd be great if I didn't have a stroke mid sentence. I think that maybe you might be slightly misunderstanding what I'm saying. I'm saying specifically the people that come in here offer services at like random that no one asks for and then when you do solicit them for their product they massively upcharge you and scam the hell out of you that's the, the specific yes. group of people i'm coming after legitimate artists you're a legitimate artist you're doing business i'm cool with that a hundred percent you're doing a legitimate business in a free market economic system dope good for you keep doing what you're doing Keep rocking and having John Paul Jones, you know? Keep ripping and having, that's the same. Yeah. But my my problem is with the actual legitimate scammers that are just there to steal your money. That's where the problem lies, and it's something yes. that, I, again, I don't see anybody talking about. And so hopefully I can bring some light to this, and maybe someone will say something about this to somebody and something will be done. I'm just some random streamer and podcaster and occasional sh poster on main that is having, that is noticing a recurring prob uh, pattern and problem that seems kind of, that seems very, very unchecked. And so I want to bring light to it. Um, other than that, if uh, you're also having a stroke, but that that's a given. That is just a given. Let's be honest here. I'm always, there's always some amount of me having a stroke of some form. It's just life, okay? Um, with that, unless if there's anything else you want to say, please say it. Other than that, I think that's everything that I wanted to bring up for this. Now, um, I'm such a great friend that I can't say that I have never watched an episode of any of your podcasts. That's how how long do we typically go for? Uh, they tend to be between 20 and 30 minutes, but I mean, if there's more to talk about, there's more to talk about, and we'll keep going. I have never, I don't have any specific set length I'm shooting for. Okay. Alright. That's cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, I just, um, I just think that, like, bots in general is something that, um, because I think, I think, uh, Ryan McBeth is his name, right? Yeah, the guy who does the like. like he, or no, 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 no. It was it was Brandon that talked about the um the like dead internet theory. Yes, and I, I think that's yeah. kind of what like. I think that's what's definitely kind of leaning what towards we're that. On that now. yeah, that is something that I was kind of hoping you'd bring up. Um, if you weren't, thank you for reminding me to bring that up. Uh, yeah, because welcome. So for those of you who don't know, I've talked about this on stream before. Dead internet theory is the idea that as time goes on, more and more bots are just taking over the internet and less and less real people are on the internet. And so it's just the internet will just become or has already become just a bunch of different bots all conversing with each other and there's no actual human interaction any longer. I don't think that's the case. There's definitely still genuine humans on the internet. I mean, yeah, that's, Fox and I still are here, you know, so, but yeah, so on a on a more condensed scale yes probably on a um on a wider like, scale? actual like broader scale there is definitely actual people because i i i would say that 
it's not that much, but there is definitely a lot, especially on like on Twitter and stuff. I'm not even on Twitter, and so like, the, I mean, I wouldn't. I'm know not much on Twitter either. That. But it does not surprise me at all that Twitter's also having these problems. We should be called X. Shut up. I don't can't care that that's the official name of the company. Shut up. It's it was Twitter. It is it will remain Twitter. Yes. If you have a problem with that, I'm sorry, but I quite frankly am not worried. Uh. Anyhow, yeah. It's really just it's. How do I say this? It is quite literally edging the dead internet theory goons on the internet, this kind of thing. I already said imagine it would be. Um, and it, it if, if unchecked, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Botting is already terrible on the internet, as I'm sure most of us, if not all of us, very well know. Um, it's it's terrible. You know, it's it's constant. We, it tends to never, it feels like it never lets up, honestly. I, I know I see it a ton, and the whole, you know, having to ban people over this. Like, I don't know how many people I've had to ban, well, how many bot accounts I've had to ban because of this. But it's nearing, it's probably nearing a hundred at this point. Which is crazy to me. Um, and, I mean, it's almost, I'm... Okay, so maybe this is the reason why, because it's just occurred to me. The reason that people aren't is that oftentimes they, like, for on Twitch, on Twitch specifically, they, these bot accounts will follow you before saying anything. Then they say something, and then if you ban them, they don't unfollow you. They stay follow a follower of your channel, and so maybe that's why no one's saying anything, because it's free followers, which, you know, I'm not happy about it. But I understand why you do that. As someone who's a small creator, it's enticing. Like, ooh, I can get growth off. But of even this. even then, like the the larger creators aren't. And the larger creators, I don't know. Maybe people just don't try it because they know it's going to get ignored. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like I don't. So um, I would watch actual um, like way years ago, like um on streaming on Twitch and stuff and it was um you had to um like I vividly remember one of the streams they called it the Clone Wars because they had to kill so many bots, you know, droids. Like it was it was so rampant. And I, I'd say that streamer which is um on Twitch, he's Captain Shack on YouTube, mm -hmm. he's um He's uh, the XP Gamers is awesome. One of my, one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. Yeah, shout and out to him. My favorite, Twitch, yeah, my favorite Twitch streamer too. Um, sorry, Stash. That's okay. That's perfectly understandable. I don't take any offense. Anyway, to and I, I don't. That was years ago, so I don't even know how bots are anymore. Oh, it's I, I would say it's only gotten worse. That's just me, but I would say with a lot of certainty. It's definitely not any better than it was. Um, it's yeah, it's bad for sure. As I've said, as I've heard, I mean, I can, I'm, I'm, I can say the same thing so many times. It's not going to change anything. As much as I want to take action against this, I got no clue how. Um, I, I wouldn't know where to start. It's such a widespread e epidemic that. It's a widespread disease of the internet. It's not just Twitch. I mean, it's the botting thing, like the art, the art selling bots specifically are a smut. It's a much smaller version of a larger problem that I don't know how to fix it. I don't have a power and I don't have the power to. I wish I did. And hopefully as I've said, this can help that. Hopefully, me saying something about it can reach a couple more people, and then they'll say something, and that can reach a couple more, and it just spirals. But that's kind of wishful thinking. And it's... It's not the end of the world if it doesn't get fixed, but it's a symptom of a larger problem that, if left untreated, is going to fester 
and bubble up and become much more serious. And the botting is only going to become worse until some sort of legal action or legislate. I don't. I'd like the government to not legislate the internet and like restrict things. I'd like the internet to be remain as government free as possible. Because like that leads to communism. Because the government taking over the internet is just a net negative, no matter what way you look at it. Um, and so the government policing the internet is not going to be helpful to anybody. It may it might deal with the bots, sure, but that doesn't mean the government. I mean, the government writes themselves out of their own laws anyway. Um, not that I want to get into politics too much, but that's just the fact of the matter. And so I don't I mean not that the, I don't know if the government even could pass legislation to stop botting anyway. I mean, heck, I bet you some of them want to because they've fallen for it. Uh, Those old bastards. Yeah. I mean, then again, whose 90-year-old grandma hasn't fallen for a Nigerian prince scam at least once? You know? So, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to fix it. Hopefully me saying something will do something helpful to fix the problem. It probably, it most likely won't, but at least if I say something, I'm not complacent in it. And I just, am not just letting it happen. At least I can say something and try. Sending an absolute Hail Mary, but at least I can try and help solve the problem a little bit by bringing this, this to light. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Remember that during the month of September, which you've got uh, two days left, by the time you're watching this, probably one. Oh, it, it's September, isn't it? It is September. So on Twitch, for every give five subs gifted, Twitch will gift an extra. But also, during the month of September, when you use code stash on the checkout at wenergy.com, you will get 10% off. So if you're if you're a tired lad or if you're someone who likes their caffeine, check it out. They got great flavors. They're they've got less carcinogens and other garbage in it that uh, you know big companies like G Fuel do have in their drinks, and you won't get much. You won't get it nearly as severe crashes as you do with their drinks. So guys, thank you for watching, and uh, I don't know that I've ever done much of an actual outro for this. I don't know what exactly to say. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, bye, guys, I guess.